everybody, Gamer Penny here, bringing you another episode of our Final Fantasy XIV Online Let's Play. And we are back with Vesper. I almost called her Maze again. Uh, but her name is Vesper. And we're going to continue on the main story quest today. So let's go ahead and talk to our comrades. Osetsu. A countryman's deeds speak for themselves. Lord Hien cannot deny the truth of their hearts. Too long has it been since I looked on his face. It would be a, be of great comfort to see him again, and no small comfort if you were to join us in the search, I should add. Okay, theory. I will be traveling to the Asm Steppe, Vesper. I found Lord Hian once before, and I am confident I can do so again. Moreover, it was to me whom he put the question of Doma's resolve. I feel it my duty to deliver to him our people's reply. Okay. Please? I wonder what kind of man he is. From what I heard, he's about the same age as me. And then there's Fordola, who isn't a whole lot younger than us both. Like her, he was born and raised in an imperial province. This is all he's ever known, but unlike her, he chose to do something about it. I want to meet him. I want to know why. Maybe if I understand that, it'll help me understand a lot of other things. Okay. And then, who do we have up here? Whoops. What is this? Wait, what is this? Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I got confused. Alright, hey. The beloved king returning to urge his countrymen to rise up in rebellion. Not a story you'd ever hear in the Charlian or Alda, is it? Not in those words, perhaps, but no land's people is so cynical to be wholly immune to inspiration. Singular individuals have the power to move hearts and minds no matter where they go. Mm-hmm. Doubtless you speak from personal experience. <laughs> as much as this Lord Hian intrigues us, Vesper, there are vital tasks to be attended to here. Preparations for the inevitable assault on Doma Castle, for one. There's also the matter of coordinating our efforts with the Confederacy and our comrades in Kugane. Dealing with this troublesome Aetherite. I could go on, but you understand. Oh, bye, Wing Sauce. Aye, so it goes. We all have our responsibilities. We shall depart for the Asm step at once. You'll be joining us, Vesper? For our part, we shall do what we can to aid the Dome and Liberation Front in your absence. We will refrain com from conducting any large-scale operations in your absence, and instead devote our energies to bolstering our ranks and training our new recruits. When you return, we will be ready for war. If anything happens, if you need us to come back sooner, you'd better contact us. Noble sacrifice is our last resort, remember? Yeah, Yugiri. Follow me, my friends. We have many malms to travel before we reach Reunion. Wait! Don't leave yet! Yes, say. Eh? Here, take these for the road. It's simple fare, but it's the least we can do for you, after what you did for us. It may be stupid and naive of me to say this, but I will. When you come back, we'll finish what we started. We'll beat the Imperials and we'll win our freedom. So, don't keep us waiting too long. Hey, on we get Aether. Persimmon leaf sushi. Huh. Uh oh. Cutscene. Maybe? Yes. Maybe? Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the keep of Doma Castle. I would expect no less of Bahamut's conqueror. Hmm. But my friend, we haven't beaten Prepare Bahamut the on this character. His radiance will not object. We have fulfilled our obligations here. I would see this prize for myself. What? What prize? Uh. 
He knows. Do you understand why I appointed you to act in my stead? You, whose only accomplishment was to whisper the right words in the right ear. <laughs> because of your petty hatreds, they render you the perfect instrument to bleed your kinsmen of hope. To make an example of Doma, such as was ordered. Listen well. If you yield Doma to the rebels, you will not be given another chance to beg forgiveness. Jeez. Do your duty now, or die with the rest of them. Are you all right, my lady? That was uncalled for. Oh. <laughs> She's so <laughs> God. They say your Eorzean is helping the rebels. I want her dead. I want her friends dead. I want the heads of everyone she knows and loves mounted on the castle walls. Dang, dude. You mean... You mean I can finally go after her? Uh-oh. <laughs> I've been waiting for this chance. I promise you, my lady, she won't escape this time. Not this time, oh no. We're being hunted. What a dysfunctional... <laughs> oh, more meanwhile. Meanwhile, in the fringes of Girabania. What the heck? Oh! <laughs> Aye. This is the place. Oh, we know that voice! When his shade was banished... You swore to leave this life behind, and yet here you are. Estinian. Yet, if this be the work of the earth, what choice do you have but to end it? <laughs> or so the boy would say, damn you, Alphano. <laughs> Okay. Put your wings up. All right. Um. Oh, I was like, what? What's going on here? We got two main quests. Yugiri. Hello, is one of these for us? It is. A corset. If all are ready, let us depart for reunion in the Azim Steep. Our route, w route will be somewhat circuitous, like circular. We will need to return to the Ruby Sea and head north along the coast, past the Sari. Okay. Well, before we do that, I see some blue pluses. Can we get flying in this area before we leave? Is that, uh, is that a thing we can do? Where are, first of all, where are we? <laughs> Yangsha. Can we get Yangsha? Oh, we have all the story ones. We can. Wait. We have all the story ones? What are these? What? Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna pick these up because they lead to something. 
Tell me, have you ever met the Namazu? Oh, that live in Yazuka Manor? The manor can be found into the southwest of Namai. It was originally home to a wealthy family. However, they were murdered when the empire attacked. These days, a group of Namazu live there. They visit Namai every now and then, coming to trade fish with us. They had shown an interest in some of the trees around here, so I had thought to give them a seedling in return. Although the road to the manor is long and fraught with danger. Would you mind if I asked you to deliver it in my place? If you are willing to help, please collect the seedling and vial of wood vinegar from a front, uh, in front of Fukudo's house. The wood vinegar will help them repel insects. Please deliver everything to a Namazu named Giotai. Okay, we can do that. Let's also talk to Fukudo. What do you have? Courage, Cowardly Lupin. What? Why are these blue? Are they just like cool stories or... I mean, I'll pick it up. I do not recall having seen you before. Would you happen to be a traveler? If so, may I request some of your time? Have you heard of the Lupin? They are a race that appears to be half man, half wolf, and are known for their skill in combat. They have long served the King of Doma. However, when Doma fell to the Empire, many of them were conscribed into the Imperial Army. Those who refused were forced to live out their lives as bandits. There is one family of Lupin that have called Namai their home for many a generation. They have acted as the village's protectors on countless occasions. We could not have survived without their aid. Their current oldest son had been the family's backbone up until he too was forced to enlist. Only the mother and her younger son remain now. The whole village expected their youngest to pick up where this brother left off. Sadly, he turned out to be one of the weakest Lupin I have ever seen. He has been unable to help the village in any way, much less protect it. The ferocious appetite his kind possessed was looked upon kindly back when they kept the village safe, but people are not so understanding when the Lupin give nothing back in return. Even so, considering he spends most of his time looking after his sickly mother, I do not believe he is deserving of the village's ire. Assuming you are not just passing through, would you be willing to help the young Lupin? Sure. My thanks. The boy I would have you help is named Kurobana. He lives up on the hill to the west. All right. Let me gather this stuff first. This. Um, and then... You know what we should do? It's gonna make this easier. Northwest? Really? Up here? West. It's got to be up, up there. Let me zoom out. I'm having some trouble with the camera there. Okay, let's get up there then. Find an aether. This is not a road. <laughs> There's the. There it is. Let's um, stop and talk to him while we're here. Then I think we're going to find all the aether currents. So we can fly around and do these quests. Uh oh. <laughs> you have business with me. Ah, the old man put you up to this. He certainly enjoys meddling in the affairs of others. It is as he says, I am not much of a fighter. My bite is as soft as a moogle's. Of course, I would love to protect a village just like my brother, but there's a reason he was conscribed and not I. The only thing I am good at is gathering herbs for my mother. I spend the rest of my time trying not to get in the way of the other villagers. At any rate, if you have no further business with me, I must head off to grind some herbs to make mother's medicine. Urbana could do with a confidence boost. Try to rally his spirits. Uh, slash rally. Go, go, you're our man. 
I have no idea why you are so interested in me, but fine. I shall do battle with one of the nearby beasts if that will satisfy you. That is not to say I will pr prove Fukudo wrong. I am merely doing this to show you that you should not have expected aught of me. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So while well, he's off doing whatever, Southwest. Two hundred something southwest. So like, probably up over there. Hey guys. Where from here? The west. That way. Three hundred something. This is not. We've been down there so many times, so it, it has to be like. Around here. No, leave me alone. Northwest. Still northwest. 85 to the northwest? Can't really. Go much further northwest. Is it up? Unbelievable. It's up there? Okay, alright, alright. I think I remember how to get up there. Unless it's. Let me just check down here. There's a way around. No, it's it's definitely right to the east. To the east. Am I blind? The north. It's up. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. And we got up there by... Uh, excuse me, I was listening to that! One of my favorite songs from this expansion. I guess we could turn off battle music if we really wanted to. There it is. Bum, 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 bum. Pull them out. Okay. Now. This is not a road, is it? Could be a way up. Okay. Bum, bum. I thought we came up here and got one up here. I guess we didn't get this one. I swear to god we gra grabbed this one. Alright. Where else? To the south. This is gonna seem silly, but uh... <laughs> we're gonna just teleport over there so we don't have to go around a bunch. Okay, not see where it is from here. To the east. Wait, what? Yeah, let's go this way. Oh, to the east. Oh, that's west. East, east, east. This is a mauled man on the ground. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, my dude. Uh, I know you've been mauled, but um, I'll let, I'm gonna let you uh, handle that yourself. All right, to the east. Probably mauled by that. El Tigre. Junction. Okay. Southeast. Bump -ba -dump, bump -ba -dump. There it is. Bump -ba let me up. Okay. Alrighty, and eight hundred ninety-seven to the southwest. So that's going to be the one that's down there. Okay. Our little putt putt motorcycle. <laughs> In Sui Chain. Okay. Probably go down. Let's get to the other side of the wall. <laughs> it's probably really annoying me singing the songs, but I just love the music in this game. Okay. Someone say something to me as a pet. Like a fine hole. Oh, I missed what it said. Southwest. Southwest. Okay. I bet it's up there. I think I remember something being on top of that bridge. Monster. What is that? Is that a hunt? Oh no, they're all over here. Okay. Uh, to the west? Really? God, please <laughs> help. All right, for now, northeast. What? Like up here, and I'm just not seeing it. Southeast. <laughs> Am I blind? <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. Jeez, Louise. What a weird thing. They normally put it up like on a... On a hill or something. Okay. He's a west. But it bum bum bow bow. It's gonna be nice when we can fly in all the zones. Alright, swim across. That 
thing. <laughs> I'm seeing like all these mobs that I don't remember ever seeing before. Maybe I just didn't pay attention. Bye thing. Hmm. Okay. North west. Oh my god, what are those? Alright, we've got a quest out here too, so that's not too bad that we're coming out here. Alright, it can't be up this far. It. Yeah, there it is. Okay. If only we had flying to get up to the thing that helps us get flying, huh? Okay. Oh, we still got more. The west. <laughs> <laughs> Still keep going west, I go. I suppose. Non-stop westward movement. What's going on over there? Oh, wait. Okay. North, east. Ah, it's up there. Okay. Ba -ba. Here we go. Is this the last one we need? Yay! Yangsha, Aether Current, Attunement, Free Bird. So now, we are free to fly. Okay, that being the case, let's take on these other two. Um, one was to drop off to the- these are the fish people, by the way. This little fish guy. <laughs> Namazu. Okay. Yes, yes, you have business with us? I have a seed and vinegar. Oh my, most sincere thanks to the kind people of Namai. Since we began living here, we have been feverishly reading through the manor's collection of books. No, no easy task it was. One of the books talked of something called Hanama Hanami. It was described as a tradition of enjoying the aesthetic beauty of flowers. I told the people of Namai of my fascination with the subject. To think they remembered and sent us these gifts. We shall raise this plant well so that we too can someday enjoy Hanami. Yes, yes. Cool. Um, oh, you have a... Okay. West. Here. Over. Over somewhere. Let me. Fat Chocobo, help me. Over. Right there. A good dude, you outside the wall. Uh. Ooh. Does it, what does this lead to, though? Just. Gear? You look not as one who hails from here. May I inquire, are you a traveler, an adventurer? If so, there's a deed I would ask of you. But before we delve into details, introductions are in order. I am Gjorin. Gjorin I am. I live in the shack with others like myself, and I, like many, have a dream. Yes, yes. I aspire to become the greatest of merchants, to be rich, to be wealthy, beyond compare, and then to have an apron made for me that is mine and mine alone. Yes, yes, that is my dream. You just want an apron? Among the many treasures in our shack are a collection of emekimono that someone left behind. Beautiful pictures, wise words. One tells the ancient tale of a poor merchant who rose to great heights. Yes, yes, ever since reading that, I have dreamt of doing the same. In that very tale, the enable adventurer, much like yourself, appeared. Quite clever, quite knowing. He gifted to the merchant his wisdom, his ways. And lo, here you are. It can be no mere coincidence. It is fate, destiny. You must forgive my manners. In my excitement, I did not neglected to ask your name, your title. Might I have it? 
Vesper Valentina, is it? Then I shall call you Vesper. Yes, yes, that will do nicely. Now where were we? Ah, of course. I was hoping to enlist your aid in my rise through the merchant ranks. I'm afraid I am quite forgetful these days. I am, I am. My storehouse lies not far from here. Would you do me the honor of paying a visit? I keep all my wares there. My treasures, my trinkets. I should very much like to hear your honest appraisal. Yes, yes. Come then, Vesper. You need only follow me. This way, this way. Oh boy. What are we getting ourselves into here? Right, wing sauce. I'll be right back with it. You need only wait a moment. Here we are, my pride, my passion. This is a collection of everything I have come to gather to own. It is quite remarkable, is it not? Amazing, astounding. Here we have grilled mayflies. Oh, and here's some dissected toad. This lovely vase here simply begs to have things placed within it, does it not? Yes, yes it does. Well, what do you think? Come now, be honest, be true. What do your eyes see that will fetch a pay pr fair price at the market, hmm? Uh... None. There's nothing here I would part with a single gill for. <laughs> uh, are you sure? But I have spent days, years collecting it all. Surely there must be something of value, of worth. I just... I don't... I can't... Nevertheless, a dream is a dream, and I shall not relent. No, no, I will find another path to greatness. Another way to obtain what people desire, for I am destined to be a merchant of renown. Yes, yes. Now, bearing all that in mind, whatever shall I do? Hmm, hmm. Yes, yes, I do believe an idea has come to me. Fish. People eat fish, and so it stands to reason that they must buy them, purchase them. I will take to fishing to provision my own supply, my own stock. I'll bring my catch to you, Vesper, and with your adventuring wisdom, you can tell me which fish will sell and which will not. Your kind and mine have very different tastes, different likes. Yes, yes, we do. It will fall to you to enlighten me as to which fish agree with the palates of men. Until then, I shall await you by the water. Oh boy. Alright. Yorin. We'll help you fish a little. It is one thing we could do is the fishing raid if we ever get our fishing up there. I, are, do people do that anymore? I hope so. I really want the mount. <laughs> or at least the pet. Oh, this will not serve. It will not serve at all. No, no. I set out to fish just as we had spoken about when last we met. But I'm ashamed to admit I, I slipped on some wet stone in my rod, my pole. It I dropped it, lost it. Yes, yes, it is gone. And before you ask, no, no, I could not retrieve it. I am a Namazu of the city, not of the wild. To cast myself into a running river is tantamount to taking my own life. Will you help me with this, Vesper? Will you find my rod and retrieve it? Return it? It's very dear to me. Yes, yes it is. Please, I beg this of you. I know not where else to turn. In we go. Alright, where'd this dude lose his rod? How in the world did it get this far? <laughs> la 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 la. The sunken ship. Alright, I got the fishing rod. Is that a shark? No. Grouper. <laughs> Big old grouper. Alright. We got the fishing rod. Let's turn it back into him. dude. Whoa, almost fell right back off again. My precious pole, my irreplaceable rod, I am but half a man without it.
My rod, you found it, as I knew that you would. I owe you a debt of gratitude of thanks. Yes, yes, I do. Yet I confess, I admit, I've been thinking on things since I lost it. Yes, that's too much thinking. It occurred to me, all the Namazu I know are fishmongers. They are, they are, each and every one. <clears throat> that fact led me to recall another passage I read among my emakimono. It said for one to make their mercantile mark. One must offer something no other merchant does, a new product, a new service. And so I have made up my mind. I have, I have. I will look for another way to make my fortune. I have given it much thought, but there is much more to give. I will return to my shack and dwell on this some more. Unbelievable. <laughs> this little dude. Alright, my man. What are you coming up with? Vesper, you may be happy to hear, joyous to hear. I have put faith in my Emma, em Emma Kimono, their wisdom, their insight. They have led me to a new calling. Yes, yes. I have learned there is pretty a pretty price to be paid for certain ores, certain minerals, and so I shall become a miner, a prospector. I fear I may inconvenience you again in this endeavor, as I did in the last, the previous. I only hope you are willing to lend your wisdom again. Yes, yes. Alright, but give me... Give me this one. Right? Yeah. Is this better than what we have on? A little bit. Okay. I am ready to begin my life as a miner, a prospector. Yes, yes, I mean to search for my fortune, my fame. I am sure it lies to the west of our manor. I will go ahead of you, Vesper, but please do come and find me. Yes, yes. Alright. Where is he? Ah, he's up here. Where to look? Where to look? Vesper, you gave me a start, a fright, but I am glad to see you. It is so good to, of you to come to visit. I am prospecting for ores as we speak, using my fortune-seeking barbels. Yes, yes, the Namazu barbel is a sensitive thing. Mine will detect where the most precious of ores lie. I do believe I found something. I feel a tingle, a twinge in my barbels. They tell me there is a great mineral wealth to the north. I must go, I must away. Dude, my dude, you're gonna get yourself a lot of trouble. You don't see these guys over here? It is all well and good to have found a choice mining location, but I am afraid my hand is stayed. There are a host of nasty beasts lingering, prowling. I can't get to the ore for fear of my life. Please, Vesper, you must help me. Defeat ruffled hornbills. Oh, these dudes. Uh, wings of us. Alright. Oops, I pulled the wrong thing here. <laughs> Dang it. Those monstrosities would pose no match for you. Yes, yes, no match at all. 
The way is now clear. Leave the rest to me. I will mine these lands and amass a hall of ore, the likes of which Yancha has never seen. But it will require some time, some patience. Yes, yes, you should return to my warehouse and await me, Vesper. I wish not to bore you with my digging, my picking. I have a feeling it's not going to go well. <laughs> All right, let's wait him, or wait for him. The deed is done, finished. Yes, yes, and what a haul we have. Come, Vesper, and behold the fruits of my labor. Look at how they sparkle, how they shine. I have no doubt these ores will see me to greatness, to fame. I must show them to Gyofu. Yes, yes, he is very knowledgeable about the selling of ores. His appraisal will be most reassuring. Yofu, I have something for you to inspect, to see. You certainly are in good spirits. What is it, Gjorn? I have been mining. I brought my first haul of findings for your appraisal, your evaluation. Tell me, how much gill will these ores fetch at market? Is that where you've been off to all this time? Well then, let us have a look, shall we? Yes, yes. <laughs> you want the truth of me, yes, Gjorn? And nothing besides. Yes, yes, tell me your honest opinion. It is difficult to place a value on these ores you have. Quite difficult indeed. And that is because they are so very, very... Worthless. You dragged a veritable pile of garbage across Yancha and into our manor. <laughs> but worthless, but my barbels tingled. Twinged. I would have staked my life that these ores were valuable. But thank the gods I did not. I suppose I must find another way, another means to make my fortune. Thank you, Gyofu. I do appreciate your honesty, your candor. Yes, yes. <laughs> Never gives up, does he? Alright. What's he got in uh, store this time? I used my barbels to detect the ores, just like my master taught me. Yes, yes, I did. Uh, I suppose the barbels of my line are not fit for mining. Still, my dream is my dream. I will not give up yet. I will find another path to greatness. And when I do, you will be the first to know to hear, Vesper. Thank you. Let's... Should we put that on? I failed at prospecting, at mining. I was so sure I would succeed. Never have I been so disappointed in myself. But still, I will not give up now. If I do, I will never be rich, wealthy. Indeed, I have already thought of another way to make my fortune. Yes, yes. I turned once more to my emekimono for wisdom. Where, there I found a tale of a merchant who sold the wings and scales of monsters, of beasts. That will be my next endeavor, and I know this time it will work. Just imagining myself trapping beasts and collecting their parts made my barbels tingle, twinge. But I am just a Namazu. I have no hope of hunting these monsters and slaying them in battle. I will have to trap them, ensnare them, and I would like your help in procuring the bait I require for my traps. There are beasts known as water serpents that slither throughout the glittering basin. If you would be so good as to fell three of them, I would have enough meat to set all the traps I need. Yes, yes. Really? Okay, well, <laughs> I hate to do this, but I think we are going to do that um, in the next episode. Uh, I think we might finish this fish one, and we might wait on the lupin one. I'm not quite sure. I, I don't know where they lead, 
So, um, I don't want to miss out on something, but if they don't open anything up or, like, unlock beast quests or give us something, I, I'm not sure if I want to do them. So, so we'll see. I might look them up and see what do we get out of them. But guys, uh, I want to thank you so much for all of your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Final Fantasy XIV online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye-bye everyone.